Hi everyone, this is Amy with Friends of the St. Clair River, and today we're going to talk about how to use the Seek app to help you identify plants and animals that might be near your home. So Seek is an app by iNaturalist, so the first thing you need to do is download the app. And once you have the app downloaded, when you open it up, this is going to be the home screen that you see. So it knows where you live, or it knows where you are anyway, and it'll help you find things that are near your home. So we're gonna start with having Seek identify something for us. So I'm gonna touch, I'm gonna open up my camera and it's gonna ask me to start scanning and immediately it actually found something. But so I'm scanning and it recognizes that there's a plant and it wants me to keep scanning so I can get a better look in there. It sees black raspberry. So I'm gonna take a picture of it and it's gonna save it to my list. So I can touch view species and learn a bit, little bit more about black raspberry. I can touch the range map and I can see where else people have seen black raspberry in the area. So someone saw it up near Lakeport and someone saw it looks like out near, maybe that's Pine River Nature Center. So those are the other places that people have seen the black raspberry recently. So then you can go back and you can open your camera back up and you can keep looking for other species. This time of year, it's not so easy because there's not a lot of leaves on the plant on the trees yet for it to identify things with. So when you're done with that, oh, it thought it had a tree. Maybe, maybe not. You can X out of there. Another thing it will let you look for is where people have seen things near where you live. So if you wanna know where someone has seen a red-winged blackbird, you can touch on red-winged blackbird, learn a little bit more about red-winged blackbirds, touch on the range map, and again, all the little circles that appear are places where someone has observed a red-winged blackbird. So the last thing you can do with the Seek app is you can join a challenge. So if you wanna join a challenge, you can click view all challenges. And here's one that I can start that I haven't done yet called forest challenge. So for the forest challenge, it wants me to add observations and earn the badge. I say start the challenge. It wants me to find 10 different trees. And if I do that, then I will have earned my badge. So those are just a few things you can do with the Seek app. It's a really easy app to use and it's a great way to help you learn about the plants and animals that live in your backyard.